He's a big motorcycle guy, my dad, a big biker dude, which makes me a little nervous now with the trifocals. If you see a gentleman screaming down the freeway on a Harley who looks a little bit like Santa Claus doing that, <laughs> just let him pass you, okay? He's always giving me pointers, because on, on the bike you gotta pack real light, you know? So he's always like, hey, Amber, okay, Amber, come here. Amber, what you gotta do is, is you gotta pack real light. You know, what you got to do is, is you got to pack up all your old underwear and then just throw them away as you go. <laughs> no, no, you do not. <laughs> if my father goes missing, that is not a trail I'm willing to follow. <laughs> Dogs can sniff that one out. <laughs> But at least he's got the right idea. You throw those old underwears away. My mother, you sweet Midwestern moms, she keeps every scrap of everything in the house. Oh, don't throw those, give it here. Oh, don't throw that, give it here. Give me those, I'll put them in my rag pile. Oh, give it here, give it, give him. Give it here, I'll put them in my rag pile. No, no good people. You don't put the old underwears in the rag pile because then what happens is your teenage daughter is cleaning the window with mom's granny panties. <laughs> yeah, then your brother's cute friends show up and you don't go to the prom and you become a stand-up comedian. <laughs> People are so sad. Don't worry, it's all worked out. I, prom, forget about it. I do have a special fella in my life. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I did it. He's a good, uh, he's a good guy. Uh, we just moved in together. Ha. <laughs> so it's going pretty great. Uh, quick. Quick question, uh, when you first move in with someone that you love, is it appropriate to keep writing your name on your own food? Is that cool? 